Welcome to Golf Without Tears. I'm Joe Lane. Thanks for joining me. And yes, <laughs> I shed more than a few, metaphorically and literally. But, you know, most of them came from chasing, um, I don't know, a promise of a new set of wedges, uh, the hottest driver. But none of them really made a difference. So here, we're going to work on fundamental skills you can master that will pay off this season. So the first thing you want to know is, do I know what the hell I'm talking about? And yep, that's me. Anyway, take a look. Remember the scene from Tin Cup where Rene Russo was wearing some newfangled contraption that's supposed to straighten her golf swing? Well, people will go to just about any length to improve their golf game. We came across one man who guarantees he can deliver you a single-digit handicap. His program does take a lot of time, plenty of cash, and wearing weird equipment. Anyway, he's already attracted some high-end clients. I decided to take a lesson. I'll show you that next. Welcome back to a Friday morning. Golfers the world over are in pursuit of the elusive single-digit handicap, and every golf magazine you pick up or every golf website you surf offer instruction and gear to help you in that quest. The golf industry has been in a three-year slump with three million people taking up the game each year and at least that many giving up on the links in utter frustration. In the sea of promises and advice, we found this little advertisement with no golf name recognition attached to it on page two of the Wall Street Journal guaranteeing a single-digit handicap. So I decided to check it out. That one, unfortunately, wasn't able to really take advantage of. Ten years ago, Joe Lane used to play golf like many of us, inconsistently with little confidence in making shots to score well. He quit his job and spent three years playing and studying to perfect the swing. Now, a single-digit player, he's opened a teaching school, Golden Wings Golf in Connecticut and Florida, looking for the terminally committed golfer. The first thing in almost every student's mind is, I want to play golf like Tiger Woods. It's not going to happen. If we can get over that, then it's developing a mindset that calls for modest, regular repetition of the seven fundamental motions position sequences. Lane's single-digit program, Shooting 78, starts with an intense six-day boot camp with only a few clients at a time. He admits it's no fun and all work. He videotapes your swing like he did mine and compares you with pros Tiger and Ernie Els. And what you see is it's just this angle here, this, this, this spine angle. The, the legs are bent about the same. Then with his various patented teaching aids like this leg board and black belt, he breaks bad habits and repetitiously hones your swing. If it weren't for the mental abyss that these guys and gals have to jump over, it could be done in nine months. But typically, it takes from 24 to 40 months. This laborious Lynx journey also takes a pile of cash, $9,000 for boot camp, and the average student ultimately shells out $36,000 or more. But he offers a money-back guarantee if it's not working. Tom Samuelson worked with Joe Lane for two years and went from a 13 handicap down to a two. It's worth noting that while Tom was training, he managed a hedge fund. He's also married with young children. You know, by the end of that, you're guaranteed to be a single-digit um, golfer. Golf Digest instruction editor Matt Rudy says that's a huge premium for someone without a name in the game. It was interesting to read that someone could to ask for those kinds of prices without having that, you know, quote-unquote brand name, you know, like, like Ledbetter or, or Butch Harmon or Hank Haney, someone like that. Most of Lane's clients are Wall Street CEOs and other corporate execs with competition in their blood. So what's Lane's success rate? 50%. In fact, he loses many in the first two days. They didn't take me at face value. I said, this is really tough. We don't play any golf. We practice, we practice, we practice. I have you do all this basic motion and sequence stuff, and we work nine-hour days. I don't think there's any false advertising there. As long as the people who, who do this program you know, understand the commitment and understand that it's not a, you know, there's no magic pill. And for those who don't do the homework and slack during the training, Joe threatens to break out a more medieval teaching tool he calls Norman. Norman was actually given to me by a client <laughs> oh boy. some years ago, and his opinion was no pain, no gain. Well, uh, let me tell you, Norman hurts. Uh, <laughs> bottom line, like anything in life, if you want to succeed, it takes countless hours of hard work and dedication, and in this case, a pretty fat checkbook to go along with it. 
but people are stepping up and paying that kind of money to have a single, especially a lot of Wall Street execs that have to play in tournaments and whatnot, and they're just tired of kind of stuck in a rut with a, if you you know, a high handicap. With it, do you think you would have improved? That, that's one of the reasons why to go check it out. I guess if I put the two-year commitment in, but I mean, a lot of times I think, you know, you'd have to quit your job to be able to play that much. So, uh, you know, it, it takes that much dedication. How much can you play? How much can you actually play with the family? There are so many other, you know, And did you get the ball through the windmill? Time. Yeah, I was and able you, to do that. You know, look, and look, you're paying for a run-in with Norman? Yeah. Come on now. That's the thing. Come you know, on. there are various Come teaching on. aids out there. Now, Brad is a pretty good golfer to begin with. Let's uh, face it. He actually is a good athlete. But after this, let's show you what happened to Brad uh, and his playing. There he is. There's Brad. He won the Wanamaker Trophy at the uh, PGA. He did that. And now, and let's see what, what, where else he went. There he is. Brad Good on the Wheaties box, ladies and gentlemen. The closing bell. Brad got it wrong on the quitting your job deal. Uh, the most basic skills, the, the how-tos, are learned and substantially mastered in small and admittedly uh, sometimes tedious pieces right here, your home practice station, um, your living room, uh, the hallway. And later on, we'll get out in your backyard. Oh, and yeah, uh, most of my students were from Wall Street and could more than afford it. Shortly after the uh, CNBC piece aired, I made a deal with Buick for their China operation to produce a TV series about my teaching program, Shooting 78, Chishir Bagan, that's Chinese. Anyway, uh, we produced 108 episodes and it was one of the most watched sports shows in China for a little over five that's years. That's right, Leon. And unless a golfer takes the time to learn enough of the basic skills, uh, such as how to turn correctly, how to hit so the So if queen. all this gives you some confidence, hit subscribe, stay with me. I think it was about 1990 when I found out that the, um, the average handicap for men and for women had not changed enough to notice for 70 years. And since then, maybe a stroke, a stroke and a half, you can check this out. Anyway, um, it was crystal clear to me that what we had been doing uh, and continue to do to get better, to break 80, it's, it's not working. So you want to play better? You're going to have to do something different. Let's start with something you can take on right now and have it pay off really big this spring. No one scores well. I mean, no one scores well, breaks 80 ever without great putting. And the, the number one issue for mastering the greens, controlling distance. You need five feet or 25 feet or even 50 feet. That's how far your ball has to go. Um, oh, and by the way, once you have control over velocity, distance, reading the greens is much easier. Mastering the specific skills to do this is what we're going to do over these first four sessions. So let's get to it. It starts with doing this correctly. So what the hell is this and why does it matter? Take a look. You'll notice no one moves the head, the lower body, pretty much anything until after they've hit the ball. Look close. The only thing driving the putt is their shoulders. Arms, wrists, hands tied to the motion of their shoulders. And the head stays dead still until after they hit the ball. Here are some shots from the 2022 U.S. Women's Open. Same thing. Okay, to do this uh, without thinking about it means that normal to your body has to be turning your shoulders independently of your hips uh, while keeping your head still. Because when you tell your body to do something, it goes on automatic and um, it's going to do what I don't know, whatever the hell feels normal to your body. And look, um, I know you're already busy as hell, but you know what? You can learn this in pieces here this winter using those moments you put your phone down. Okay, first thing, put your phone down. All right, get in your golf stance and put your butt on the wall. And uh, you want to kind of super glue it there. So I don't want it moving at all. Let your arms get flat, lace your fingers together, and flatten out your palms. 
Now you want to focus your eyes uh, pretty much on the um, inside left toe of your shoe and you're going to keep your head still at all times. Okay, so here we are. <sighs> now take a deep breath, keep your eyes focused there and rotate as far back as you can without bending your elbows, even a little. So no elbow bending. So here we go and take a breath, rotate, accelerate forward gently. Back, rotate, accelerate forward gently. Back, stop, accelerate forward gently. And fundamentally, you're going to repeat and repeat and repeat. Now, if you're having trouble keeping your elbows flat, you can do this. Just a, it's a kitty soccer ball deflated pretty much. So get back in your golf stance, put your ball here, everything's the same, and you just make sure you maintain constant elbow pressure um, on the ball for the entire rotation. Same thing, eyes fixed, butt glued to the wall, head stays still. Okay, you're gonna feel the difference uh, the very first time you do this. But um, uh, this is about repetition and kind of a lot of it. To make this uh, your new normal, you got to do this two, three times a day for maybe five, six days in a row. But the good news is it only takes about uh, 15, 20 seconds for several rotations. And you can do it just about anywhere and just about any time. Remember the scene like from Karate that. Kid? Suckle. Wax on, wax, wax off, off. Yeah, sand that. the floor, paint Suckle. the fence. Well, it's the same thing here, but boy, oh boy, does it ever pay off. Everything we work on, this entire series, mastering the greens, approach shots, getting out of the sand, making your irons and metals work for you, all are dependent on you doing this correctly without thinking about it. Look, it is the basis for making your shots not look like this. Give yourself a week to master this and uh, next session we'll build on it to learn the skills to be able to do this. If you have comments or questions, leave me a note. I'll try to get back to you. Or check out our website, golfwithouttears.com. Uh, there's a link below. We're still working on it, but it's up. And also, uh, if you'd like to be a guest on our um, upcoming podcast, Golf Without Tears, Leave me a note on the website and I'll try to arrange a time for you to join us. Now, next session, we're going to have a drawing for our free Gary Player heavy hitter and a free Zoom lesson on how to make it work for you. So definitely stay tuned. Oh, and if you want to see how these first four sessions are going to play out, click the Mastering Distance link below. Okay, that's it. See you next time.